This is our fully rebuilt Bridgeport Miller machine. It's got the variable speed head, it's got the 42 inch table, and this one's been upgraded to a four axis DRO system. Plus, we've added X, Y, and Z power feeds there. So as I say, this one's been fully stripped down serviced, it's been fully rebuilt, we've, repla we've reground the X and the Y axes, replaced all the lead screws, all the nuts, all sorts of bearings in there. The spindle bearings have had brand new, uh, brand new match pair, super precision bearings and the spindle has been, or the tape has been reground. The variable speed head has had all sorts of brand new parts there, all brand new bearings, belts, uh, lots of new pulleys in there as well, and a lot of time to make it sound as quiet as it does, it's absolutely beautiful. Okay, so I'm gonna run through the machine now and see, uh, let you see it running in a virtual demo, demo sort of way. Um, and then obviously please come down and see it for yourself in real life. Okay, so x-axis, lovely and smooth all the way across there, new lead screws, new nuts, absolutely beautiful. Obviously f being fully reground, it's super, you know, super precision, absolutely beautiful. All the gibs are all scraped in, especially to make it really nice for you. And the same with the y-axis, again, all scraped in gibs, absolutely beautiful. Lovely and smooth all the way across. Obviously the Y-axis is all brand new there. Almost no backlash at all. It's absolutely beautiful. Same with the knee. The knee has had brand new lead screw and nuts. It's had brand new, uh, the main bearing in there. We always replace the standard. It's quite a large bearing and always in need of replacement. It's really nice once it's done. <coughs> the locks have all been serviced. So the Y-axis lock there, the X-axis lock and the knee lock here, all serviced, all working great. The lube system's all been serviced, so all the lube pipes all been replaced. All the metering units have been replaced. The pump's been serviced and everything's been checked to make sure it's functioning great. The oil you put in there is BD68. It's the same oil that you put in to these little pots here. So, you know, keep putting it every eight hours of operation. Pump the pump, you know, a couple of times and the same with filling these little pots up as well. Um, also put some oil into the drawbar as well, just to keep it all nice and running great. Okay, so moving on, uh, we're now gonna test the variable speed head and the quill. So firing up the head. And we're running around 450 RPM now. That's about a thousand, lovely and quiet. There's 2000, and all the way up to 3000. I'll reverse it for you now. Just as nice in reverse. 450 RPM. 1000. 2000. And then all the way up to 3000, uh, 3, yeah. Okay. So now we're going to swap from high range to low range. Before I do that, I'm just going to move this handle out of the way. Now it's actually a quick release handle, so you can just move it like this and position it wherever you want it, want to, wherever you want it to be, wherever's more handy. So change it from high range to low, push this handle in, turn it around and make sure it's locked in to the low range. Fire it up. It's just as quiet in low range. All the way down to 60 rpm 120 and up to 280 i'll do reverse for you as well back down to 60 200 and 280. There we go, back down to about 120. Okay, so swapping back now from low to high range. Before we do that, we'll go to the neutral position, which is about there. Uh, there is a notch for it, it does lock in for you. So that gives you, allows you to freewheel on the spindle for clocking up any PCDs, that's all running great. So 
and to high range now, lock it in, we're firing up. And now we're going to test, we're going to test the quill for you. Before you engage the quill, just come off any of the stops. So it doesn't want to be all the way at the top or all the way at the bottom. See, it feeds down just great. That's in the highest feed rate at the moment. That's the slowest. And that's the medium of the feeds. So for every spindle speed, you've got three different feed rates. So that'll come down and trip out itself now. Works absolutely great. Okay, we'll reverse the feed now. So we're still going the same way on the spindle, we're going to reverse the feed here. Okay, we'll just be pulling this knob out, and then when we engage, it'll feed up. And you see it's giving a readout on the DRO screen there, that's coming off this scale here. So that's absolutely running great, you know. Okay, so it's also got a lock for the quill here, so we're all the way at the top, we're going to do some milling, there's a little lock handle here, and that, that stops the spindle from moving, uh, and that's all working fine. Uh, just to note before, there's actually got safety handles fitted here for the power feed, so all these will just spin naturally if uh, the power feed's engaged, but when you want to obviously make the table move, you just push them in, and away you go. So that's a nice safety feature. Uh, there's new coolant pipes all fitted, so those got new in-feed and out-feed pipes, uh, all, all working great. There's a coolant pump at the back uh, that works off this switch here. Uh, all been serviced and that's all working great. Um, so yeah, lovely machine. Please come down for you to see it for yourself in real life and many thanks for watching.